first episode of the week. So we are going to talk power rankings. We got a big, big shift in the power rankings this week. We have a shift at the top. Uh, we have a big shift down at the bottom. So let's go through it. We haven't had a, a bunch of shifts lately. So uh, we're going to go 10 through 1, the new and improved and updated Major League Baseball power rankings, starting at number 10. How about those Arizona Diamondbacks? They weren't ranked last week. They're 60 and 52 all of a sudden. They've won eight of their last 10 games. They're hot. They swept the Nationals. They won two out of three games from a a very good and playing really well Pittsburgh Pirates team who beat the Astros coming out uh coming out into you know uh, a couple couple weeks ago. Beat the Astros, then go out and lose to the D-backs. So next thing you know, last 10, D-backs win 8 of 10, swept the Nats, 2 of 3 from the Pirates, squeak into the top 10. They've been close for a little while now. They've been playing really good baseball. They get to the World Series last year, win the NL pennant. Next thing you know, they're not playing good ball to start this year. Really good right now. Next up, at number 9, the Kansas City Royals. Back in the top 10, not ranked last week. Swept the White Sox, though everybody sweeps the White Sox and won three out of four from the Detroit Tigers. Royals playing really, really good baseball. Got hold of a a wild card spot right now in the American League. Next up, at number eight, the San Diego Padres. 61-52. and They swept the Los Angeles Dodgers last week. They swept the season series, from, or took the season series from the Los Angeles Dodgers. Took two of three from the Colorado Rockies on the week. So, Padres have been playing much better as well. They also are in control of their own destiny. They also are in a playoff spot. And I just really like their roster. They are very talented. They improved their bullpen vastly. They have the best bullpen in the National League, if not the best bullpen in baseball. So I really like this Padres team, and they are back in the power rankings here at number eight. At number seven, the Milwaukee Brewers, down two spots from there where they were last week. Lost both series on the week. Lost the first one to Atlanta. Lost the second series to the Nationals. Had to bump them down a good bit. They are sitting pretty in the NL Central, but they are no longer in the top five. They are here at number seven. At number six, staying put right where they were last week, the Minnesota Twins. Yes, they swept the White Sox, but again, everybody sweeps the White Sox. And then they lost two of three to the New York Mets. So just kept them put um, pretty good. A fine week for them, kept them put. Uh, entering the top five, the Los Angeles Dodgers here at number five, down two spots. They got swept by the Padres. They won two of three against Oakland, but just nothing nothing great, nothing to write home about. Um, not a huge movement, but I did bump them down a little bit to number five. Up three spots, I'm going the New York Yankees. They've been as high as one this year. They've been really good. They've been as low as seven or eight this year. They're now back into the top five here at number four. They swept the Phillies, huge series after the trade deadline. Uh, The addition of Jazz Chisholm has been huge for them. You go into Philly, the best team in baseball all year long. You sweep them there. You win the weekend series against the Toronto Blue Jays, two of three against them. They're just playing really well. And I, I know when these get posted on Monday, They're a big talking point, and the Yankees are obviously a big part of that talking point. And if I needed to talk about my my positioning, I'll talk about that with these last four because it becomes a big talking point. Yes, the Yankees have a better run differential than, let's say, the Baltimore Orioles, and their record is neck and neck. But let's not forget, we were we are one week removed from me still having the Yankees in like the seven or eight spot in my power rankings, bumping bumping them down week after week, and Yankees fans screaming at me, this team sucks, get them out of the top 10, Yankees don't belong in the top 10. Now I continually have bumped them back up. They're here at number four, and again, the reaction is, what are you doing with the Yankees at four? They're so much better than everybody in front of them. Bump them up. What, What are we doing? If you want to if you want to have power rankings that vastly differ from week to week make your own damn power rankings. But I'm not a, a week of baseball obviously factors into it, but they're moving up 3 spots because they swept who was the best team in baseball and had a really good week. So I'm going to bump them back up. If this were my weekly power rankings, 
well, the Yankees would probably be one. And the, the Philadelphia Phillies would probably be pretty close to number 30. But that's not how this works. You can't ask for your team to be out of it last week and then at number one this week. It's not how power rankings work. Let's move on to number three. The Cleveland Guardians up one spot. They swept the Detroit Tigers, split a weekend, split the series with the Orioles, won the first two, lost the last two against the Orioles. The Guardians are really good. Um, they had a good week. Again, another important thing. I'm probably going to talk about positioning as we go on here. Uh, one thing I saw, how did the Guardians move up a spot while a, a team behind them in the division, the Minnesota Twins, gains ground on them, but they stay put? Really simple. Twins played the White Sox. Listen close. If you really need the explanation, here you go. Twins played the White Sox. Everybody on planet Earth beats the White Sox. And then they lost two of three to the Mets. To me, staying put makes sense. Guardians swept the Tigers, split the weekend series with a really good team. Dodgers played poor baseball, so they moved down too. Guess what? For somebody to move up, somebody has to move down. For somebody to move down, somebody has to go up. And that's the Cleveland Guardians this week. Not that complicated. Having a really good year. Decent week of baseball, better than the Dodgers, so they moved up in the power rankings to number three. At number two, the first time out of the number one spot in a long, long time, the Philadelphia Phillies. Really bad baseball over the last week. A, a pretty bad series for them against the Yankees. The Yankees weren't playing great. They come into town, big series, always is. Phillies, Yankees, two big teams, close, uh, close geographically, a lot of Yankees fans in the stands. And the Phillies just got their butts kicked, um, got swept in that series at home. Then they lost two of three to the Seattle Mariners. They've lost eight of their last 10. So I believe in this team. I think the Phillies are very good, but the, their play of late has been bad enough to move them out of that number one spot down to number two, the Philadelphia Phillies, meaning up to number one, the number one team in the power rankings, the Baltimore Orioles, they have been right there two or three for a long time. The Phillies have separated themselves and then come back down to earth, and now they've moved themselves down a bit. The Orioles have moved themselves up. They beat the Blue Jays three of four, split that weekend series against the third-best team in baseball, the Cleveland Guardians. They did enough, in my opinion, with the other teams not doing enough to bump themselves up. I don't like putting a team in the one spot, even if number one is struggling, if number two, three, four are also struggling, I don't like giving somebody that one spot after the team has been there for a while. With the Phillies playing really poorly and the Orioles winning a winning an interdivision series against a rival and, and splitting a series against a really, really good baseball team in the Guardians, I felt it was enough to move them up to the number one spot. So the power rankings this week go. Arizona Diamondbacks, Kansas City Royals, San Diego Padres, Milwaukee Brewers, and Minnesota Twins. And then the top five, Los Angeles Dodgers, Yankees, Guardians, Phillies, Baltimore Orioles rounding out the top 10.